bring that up here last the server call. Because we've got a log rolling on the spine board. Alright? So y'all jump down here. What you get down here and get get with it before we get done. <laughs> okay, now, remember I told you to put the mass traps on your spine board? Go ahead and do that. And I'll let y'all do that. Now, open them up. In other words, they just uh, belt up. Okay, good. Now, the left always goes over the right. So put the left on top. What does mass stand for? Military or medical, in this particular, medical anti shock trousers, M A S T. Or you may see it mask, M A S T, or M A S G, mask anti shock garment. That is just a manufacturing thing. Now, oh, okay, sorry. Now, take those leg sections and stuff and fold them up underneath the board. Take the double section and just fold them up underneath the board. Just like that. There you go. And do the other side also. There you have it. That's how you place them on the board. Just kind of stick them under there. Okay? Now, see this line right here? That's the pine, and you're good with that. That's good. All right? Now, let's just slide them over. We've done it here. When we do our assessment, here's what we've got to do. This is called a mass survey. All right? And that's why I had to take everything out of his pockets, because in a real situation, what do we got to do? We're going to cut the pants off. We're going to cut all the clothes and stuff off. All right? So we'll make sure he ain't got nothing in his pocket, large belt buckle or something um, that, you know, some guys wear and stuff. So in a trauma situation, the clothes, they're, they're going to come off. The clothes have got to go. The shoes have got to go. All right? So somebody take your shoes off. If you need help getting the shoes off, we'll get somebody else. <laughs> Medial side. Okay. Now, real world, we're going to cut those off. I promise you. All right? What are we going to do now? <laughs> check for pigal pulses. Why do we want to check for pigal pulses? Make sure what? He's got good perfusion. Okay, good. All right? So, we've got good pulse and stuff here. I've done my mass survey and nothing in the pockets. But reality, I've cut the pants off. Does that make sense? All the clothes. Trauma victims are always going to be naked. Because if you can't see it, you can't treat it. So, they they got to be uh, clothes completely cut off. All right? So, we've got all that stuff done. Nothing in the pockets, whatever. The clothes are gone. Good pedal pulses. Good distal pulses. Good movement. But he's unconscious. All right? So, we're going to get ready to log roll and put him on the spine. So, y'all deal with that. There, so we need to probably be two people over here. The log roll. Remember to cross your hands. Kind of get a big purchase point there. Remember to put his right arm above his head. That'll work. Now, seesaw down and get him over in the right position. Oh, oh, okay. Don't move, Tony. <laughs> move on three. One, two, three. Right. Somebody's got to hold the board. <laughs> Put your knees in front. Okay, we good? Okay, one, two, three. Okay. 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 okay, very good. Now, somebody go down to the foot of the spine board and just lift it up. Oh, sorry about that. Just slightly. Okay, now just start putting this side. The left side goes on close. Careful. Careful. There you put go. Put it on really tight or loose. Put it on as, as snug as you can possibly put it on there. Can you use these for pregnant women? Yes, you can. The leg sections only. Okay? Now, 
We're good with spy boy. I mean, that's I've just shown you how to put them on the spy boy. Y'all know how, what the rest of the stuff do with spy boy and that sort of thing, right? We're good with that. All right, so they're on the spy board, so you're good to go. Now, let's hook up the uh, pump. There's uh, one hose that goes to each. Uh, that one, those two go to the legs. This one goes to the uh, dominant cavity, and it should be on this side over here. Any cool air rockets that come with that pump? There you go. Okay. Now, what you need to notice, see these little lines right here? These little stop cock means that air is good to go. In line. Yes, in line. When you turn them, that cuts them off. All right? So let's say he's got a blood pressure of, let's say, 90 systolic. All right, so we've got our hoses hooked up. Somebody can be, oh, make sure all the stuff is in place here. Somebody can be taking blood pressure. Either or. Somebody? Let's take his blood pressure. You just lay it there beside him, that's fine. Okay. You don't tell him what this means. <laughs> this is the steps that you're going to have to do it, all right? Take his blood pressure, and let's say it's 90 systolic. What's the first thing we're going to do? What's the first thing we're going to do? Raise his legs. Do what? Raise his legs. What's that called? Trudellenberg. Trudellenberg. So we're going to raise his legs. Uh, Here with Kevin. Use his boots. Just lay him sideways, lay him down, and uh, yeah. Treating a trauma there you go. patient. Now, these mass trials used to come in up. We got one back there, a hard box, and it worked great for doing this right here. Okay, so we've raised his legs eight to ten inches. That's close. All right. So what we're we gonna do now? Check his blood pressure. Why? Because you raised his legs. You just changed yeah, it. Yeah, we will see. We just changed something, so we won't check his blood pressure again. So let's say it's uh, still the same, nine inches stop. We got oxygen going. We got a suction. We got everything going. All right. Now, lower extremity. We're not going to pump these up for the simple fact that we uh -huh. will increase his blood pressure. All right, but we'll simulate it. All right, so uh, find the foot pump down there. Cut off the abdominal section because we're going to do both legs. When you do both legs, do them simultaneously. If you have fractures, painful swollen mischief deformities, we got shock. This is a great tool to use because it's splitting your fractures, it's cutting off the bleeding, and it's also controlling the shock. So these are a great device uh, to use. So the only thing we've got to do now is um, pump up the foot pump. So pump it a couple times. And you'll see air starting to get in there, and that's good. All right. Now, we pump it up until the blood pressure reaches 100 systolic or the Velcro starts to crackle. Ooh. All right. So we pump them up until blood pressure reaches 100 systolic or the Velcro starts to crackle. We pump up the leg sections. What do we want to do now? Check the check pressure. Pump. Check the blood pressure. Let's say it's still 90 systolic. Put the abdominal. What do we do now? The abdominal section. Cut the leg sections off because we pump them up as far as we can, right? The right. elbow started to crackle. And we pump up the abdominal cavity. Okay? That's good. Now, how much we pump it up? It's the same deal. Until the Velcro starts to crackle or the blood pressure comes up. Okay? What we're going to do now? Take his blood pressure because we just, you know, done the abdominal section. Now, um, let's say his blood pressure is still 90 systolic. We can't get it above 100. What we're going to do now? We make sure we pumped it till it crackled and. What's our next step? Two large bore IVs. And what's our next step? Cover him up. Cover him up. Keep him going. Keep him warm. Keep him warm. All right? Now, yeah, it's comfortable. Now, we get to the hospital. We've got two large bore IVs running. Life is great. We've got blood pressure up to about 100 systolic with the fluid, with the mass trousers. So we're going to work in reverse order. All right, so we get him at the hospital. They will take these things off. All right, so we've got the leg sections cut off. We're just going to work in reverse order. So here's what we're going to do. 